actually balance out All how right. we actually look at these things. You've had your say, Arnold, but Bina, what do you think? Do you think Arnold um, is heading somewhere with this argument? That it's, it's not what you people say. It's not you know, what you people say. The practice. Um, yeah? uh, I mean, um, you know, if there's also one, uh, one good thing uh, we get to do in this country is also um, the, re, you know, like, uh, the research um, that is out there, you know? Um, and uh, when we talk about that people even live under a dollar a day, that is not a myth. That's a reality. It's not, it's not a myth, okay? And uh, we see this every other day. And in fact, a uh, majority of uh, people who are on survival mode, you don't even get to see them on TV, okay? You don't get to see them on TV. You know, we have these people in our families. We have our own friends who are struggling. And sometimes social media might not reflect the reality of people outside of social media, you know, because a majority of us will put out our best on social media. But within our families, our, our circles, we know people are, are struggling. So when he says that sometimes we like blowing things out of proportion, that is not true because we are not actually expecting leaders to over deliver when they're not even delivering the bare minimum. Mm -hmm. You cannot expect someone to over deliver when they're not even meeting 50% of what they were supposed to do, okay? So, and people are not even asking for too much. You know, we're in an era where people are just saying, can I survive till tomorrow, okay? People are, you know, when we talk about people need basic needs, like education, like food, like water. You know, talk about, let's say, um, even uh, CBC. Up to today, we're still struggling with the challenges of CBC. We're still struggling with extra additional classes. We're still struggling with the hidden costs that we do not, do not see. And I think uh, there was even a campaign, I think, last week ab about, um, um, you know, Msomi Mnyonge, whereby an institution tells you this is actually the government approved fees, which is probably like uh, 15,000. But when you look at the additional charges that you're paying, whether it's for development, whether it's when you're registering, whether it's new uniform, new work, you know, when you look at all those additional costs, you end up paying almost the same amount like the approved uh, approved fee yet you don't even have a source of income that can allow you to give the basics you know the, the basic to either your children you know I'm a, you know um, or just survive even just as you yourself you know like literally and then right now we've been talking about the extra charges of course that have not been uh, uh, there's an injunction so we cannot even discuss that as much but the fact that we're even thinking about that you see you know the fact that we're even thinking about that when we talk even about uh, local leaders who are representing us and I think when we go to this trajectory it then reinforces uh, you know the attitude and even the aura that sometimes leaders face us with when they come to the communities and say uh, look at what I've been able to do compared to not doing nothing. You're not elected to do nothing because you had a manifesto, you had promises. So when we come and say, uh, I've been able to, let's say, carpet this road as opposed to not having carpeted at all. You see, if it's within your mandate to actually carpet the whole road, you know, the right thing to do is to say, hey, you elected me. This, is, this, this was my mandate. I've been able to achieve X, Y, Z. And this is how I plan to achieve the remainder of my mandate. Not, I've been able to achieve this as opposed to not having done anything. Because we have county budgets, you know, we have constituency budgets, we have ward level budgets, like we have budgets at every level, you know. And even when it comes to borrowing, we're not saying there's something wrong with borrowing. But then it's what we do with the resources that we borrow, you know. Like right now, uh, even as we're discussing uh, the Eurobond, you know, when we're discussing the, that the proceeds from the Eurobond are missing, I remember even the Ministry of Water could not account for 11.2 billion. They could not account for it. They don't even have documentation for it. That is facts. You see, they could, you know, because if you cannot provide documentation on how you've used uh, 11.2 billion, you cannot show projects. So that's not like a, a story or a rumor. You see, you have resources, then show what you did. Show the projects that you actually uh, were able to implement, uh, you know, with these resources. And even when that money, uh, you know, when we were granted uh, that loan, money was first put on offshore accounts as opposed to the money landing in consolidated bank, you know, and that was actually confirmed by our Auditor General, um, you know, Ouko at the time, right? So if let's say in a ministry uh, for water where we could not account for 11.2 billion, what has been done to the individuals uh, who are in charge of that? Has there been any prosecutions? 
No, there's not been any prosecution. Look at how much we're supposed to pay. I think either this year or last year, they were saying we're supposed to pay 17.8 billion in interest. You know, like in interest. So when we talk about all these things, Surah Meet, because you, you know, you, you know, you're, 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 you're being pained from every other, from every other corner, mm -hmm. and you're not even certain about tomorrow. You're not certain about uh, an enabling environment in a country where agriculture is our backbone. Yet farmers are the poorest. Yet we, you know, we produce products that, that cannot compete pit um, outside our country yeah. and that happens also because of um, the bureaucracies you know and uh, also uh, the fact that we make decisions that do not also promote our own farmers because if today you said um, you know what let's just promote uh, our own uh, farmers and ensure that we're able to sell our own produce we're going to ensure we don't actually have illegal products infiltrate into the country like sometimes you have illegal sugar in the country how are we supposed to sell our own sugar when there's illegal sugar in the country that has been packaged and then it's in our supermarkets right so it's about all those uh, all right. those things so uh, like sort of like a 360 view of what is happening yeah in the country. Um, I want us to move this conversation for 